pretty common problem with the Teslas is that the uh, door handles don't come out. These come out, this one's not. So there's a problem with that. There's a wire that usually breaks in there. So we're gonna get in and uh, show you how we do it. All right, so right down up inside there, you can see that there's this little rubber uh, rubber thing. It's got a couple tabs right there. You just gotta pull that out. Sometimes they're pretty stuck in there. This is not the first time I've done this door, so it's, uh, this wire's giving, the wire on this is giving me kind of a problem. I'm just gonna pop this little piece out here. A little stuck up in there, but it'll come. Okay. And so if you look right down up in there, you'll see there's uh, two little hex knots. Okay, so it's a 20 hex knot. And we're gonna move this 10 millimeter hex knot, or a 10 millimeter bolt here. Okay, so here's the hex knot right here. So once we got that, we got the hardware removed and we can go ahead and pull off the door. Start with the door down the bottom. It's gonna be a lot easier for me to remove it because I've already removed the door. Uh, but when you first get in here, this may be a pretty tight seam and you wanna just get a pry tool up in here and pull this off. This door is really gonna pop right off since it's been removed a couple times actually already. So you just simply, and then pull straight out. So here's a cable right here. I wanna get that removed. Just remove it like that. And you got another one right here. Pull that off, that's to the light. Then you got this one that goes to the door handle. And now uh, it's separate. Okay, so then you got this uh, rubber sealant on here to protect that. So you just wanna uh, pull that off. It's got some pretty sticky rubber back there. Um, so the handle is tucked up underneath there. And um, I believe it's a 10 millimeter. There's four bolts that are ho holding that on together. Once you get down inside here, you'll see the, um, there's a, a cable right there, a connector. That connector needs to be, um, that goes to the actual handle assembly. So I need to disconnect that. And then there's, um, and it goes up and around, four bolts right there, one up there on the top, and then tuck way up inside there, and it may be hard for to show you, but way up inside there on the top and bottom. There's the other one right there. Okay, so we're gonna take those off. So we're gonna try and disconnect this real quick. All right, so we're gonna take the bottom bolt right here. And losing these bolts can be quite the pain if you gotta trace them down and down to the bottom of the door. Sometimes they can really hide in some tight nooks and crannies. So I got it with my fingers now. We're just gonna slide this down, hopefully without dropping it down the door. Back there is the next one. We're gonna try and get that right there. Okay, that should be finger tight by now. All right, so there it is. And then we got the last one. All right, so I'm up on the top one there. And it's already finger tight. Now. Pretty easy to actually get to that one, not too bad. All right, so, and we got it. So all four of them out, ready to go. If you'll see right over here, you'll see how it's totally loose. And then you gotta do a little bit of jiggling to get it to come and drop off of the roof. This has already been repaired on before, so it's just stuck on with some really sticky adhesive. I took some Gorilla Tape just to keep it more weather um, protected.
Okay, so we're just gonna take this micro switch and we're gonna put it right back up into that spot there. So you got the screw down here and then you got the stem that goes there. So here's the stem, there's the screw, and then you got a metal screw right here. You're gonna do that. Now in order for me to get down up inside there and to get my hex nut um, on there, I had to basically tear apart this assembly here, the motor assembly, pull that off so that I can pull this whole switch or loosen up this so I can pull that whole thing back and um, give me a little more room. It's there. And that looks pretty good right there. I did have to take apart this one, this screw right down in here for that micro switch. And, um, and that allowed me to be able to bring this back just a little bit further right here so this whole handle piece could come back so I could get more down up inside there. So now. Tape them to this whole handle thing so there's no movement there. So we'll tape it down right there so that those wires are not gonna move at all. All right, so, so that will help hold that together. So no motion on the actual micro switch itself. I'm gonna test it out, make sure that the soldering job did a good job. And if so, it should pop right out. Okay, so that works there. And then of course you can always just shove it right back in. Okay, so we'll put it together. Okay, so we're just gonna put the handle back here. You just slide that right back up inside here. And then one thing you wanna check just to make sure that, that the alignment looks all right. This right here is gonna tell you how far back it's gonna go before it hits. And so we can see that, that we want that to come out a little bit further. So we're just gonna tighten that up some and see, see how much more that's sticking out right there. So now we got the, the white covering piece right here, the back side of the door, door handle. Good there. We're gonna plug in the light switch. Putting on the the proofing back here. Okay, now you gotta do a little bit of jiggling. To, you wanna just put it on loosely so that um, you can align it properly. Okay, and then we got the top one that we're gonna get in. This down here, there's a big gap right here and then this is like there's no, I mean, like hitting the metal right there. So you don't want that to hit there. So obviously we need to lift that up and then uh, that's why you want to leave it a little bit loose so that you can align it properly. Okay, so we're gonna plug that in there, the light, plug that in there and the lock there. And again, everything just goes straight forward. We want to get down here and put that 10 millimeter back. Okay, and then there's the little rubber cover and we got these little tabs and try and get those back in the right holes there okay so there we go and you push that tab in there and those three tabs are in we put that little piece in right there and uh we are done. So uh, that is how you fix 
the uh, little micro switch where the handle breaks and it doesn't extend out. And we did that and it didn't cost a dime in just a little bit of time and we got it fixed. Um, if you do need to order, you can order the, the part from Tesla and then uh, I'll, I'll put the part number in the link. Or you can order the whole door assembly. I recommend to get that off of eBay. Uh, it's quite a bit cheaper than ordering that new from uh, Tesla. All right, so the door handle went in and we push it, it pops out and works like it should.